What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm gonna talk to you about boobs. I mean RPA extractor for Windows. Now if you don't know what RPA is, or what RPA files are rather, RenPy is a visual novel engine which sounds really fancy. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's used to create games like Sakura Angels, aka Boobies. Everyone is going crazy for this game on Steam right now because boobs. Boobies. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it creates other games like Autumn's Journey, which is a good one. Katoa Shujo, which I probably just butchered that name like crazy. I hope I didn't know. Uh, you can also go to Renpai's website. They have a page, uh, or a whole section of the site rather, dedicated to all kinds of novels and games that have been made with their uh, framework or whatever. All right, so you can go check that out. Real quick before we get started here, I used Python version 2.7.9 to create this executable, which all the heavy lifting was done by Shizmob and their RPA tool, Python script. All that I did was take this script in a Python environment and I used Py to exe to create a Windows executable for everyone because there wasn't anything like this out there yet. It's basically you have to install Python and know how to do all this. So I've tried to make it really simple for everyone on Windows. Sorry, Mac peeps, I don't have uh, an OS X environment. Um, otherwise, I would have hooked you up as well. So anyway, what you need to do now is go to sneakymofo.com where you'll see this post and hey, boobies. <laughs> anyway, uh, this video I'm recording right now will be going right here. Uh, you need to go to the bottom of the post. I have a download link for the RPA extractor for Windows. You want to save that to your desktop. Once you do and you have it on your desktop, double click on it. It's a zip file. You need to click and drag the folder out to your desktop. All right. Once you do that, go into the folder and wherever your RPA file is, make sure you right click on it and copy it and then paste it in here if you just click and drag it over and it's on the same drive you're going to be messing you're going to move that file from where it is to a new location so if you've got a game that depends on that file it won't work if you move the file out of that directory into here so make sure you copy it and paste it into here okay so once you get your rpa file in here i created one here which you can also do with this application by the way uh, you need to click here in the bar, type CMD. That will bring up a command window that's local to this directory. And then you can say RPA Extractor dash X, which tells it to extract. And you want to type in the name of your RPA. It's not case sensitive, so we'll just keep it all lowercase. Sneakymofo.rpa. Make sure you type in the .rpa. That's very important. Then do dash O, which stands for output, and then type the name of a directory. Sneaky mofo. If you don't do that, if you don't do the dash O in this, it'll dump all the files from the RPA into this directory with everything else. And you don't necessarily want that. So then you hit enter. And you should see a directory pop up here. We can close this now. Go into the directory. And here are all your files from the RPA file. Just go through your folders, a bunch of the ones that I have extracted, I've seen a lot of the same folder structure names, sprites contain the individual characters, so you can go through that, BG contains backgrounds, and BGM, background music, CG will have you know completely rendered files with the background and the character or the sprite. Um, just to let you know, this is not from a game. I actually paid for the background and I paid for this character and I photoshopped this. I created this. So what you're seeing here is my own creation, which I am using with permission and proper licensing. All right. So once again, a reminder that not everyone likes their stuff uh, extracted. So if you use this tool, make sure you know what the licensing terms are for the game or the novel that you are doing that with. And with that, I will go ahead and close this video out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. 
or go check out the post. Read through it. I have some other things in the post here and some reminders and the example here and all that good stuff. All right, so give me a thumbs up if you found this useful. Go ahead and subscribe as well. I've got a bunch of stuff like this coming up. Check out my cheat engine videos too. I have a whole bunch of those. You may be interested in those. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Take care.